Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, David speaking. Uh, a lot's happened uh, uh, since we uh, last spoke, as you well know. I'm looking at Vectorvest uh, USA, and as you can see, the market has gapped down another 600, 670 points. That uh, push up that we had yesterday afternoon uh, came to nothing. If you examine an intraday chart, you'll see that the push up yesterday afternoon occurred uh, in a rising wedge formation on the five minute chart, and that's never good. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at uh, the Vector S composite, and if we have a look at the Vector S composite, folks. Uh, we can see uh, that gap down and this market in free fall. It's at six, 61% of the uh, last range on the composite. And that's from the low uh, of June 2019 up to that high. And uh, that's where I felt it was going to come to. I thought maybe it would have stopped at the 50, but it didn't. It's gone to the 618. We are in a mega oversold situation here, folks. We can certainly get a bounce, a three to four, five, five day bounce here. Uh, but my word, there's no sign of it as we go into the trading day. Uh, if you look at a, a bond chart, uh, you'll see that uh, US bonds uh, yields uh, at all time lows, I think. Uh, bond prices thus uh, very high. So a, a flight uh, to safety there. And that flight to safety in the bond market, unless something changes enormously, uh, indicates that any uh, Bounce is no more than a bounce, uh, but we are in a very mega oversold situation. If I go to the front page of Vectorvest, we can see uh, that uh, the MTI is now at 0.54 uh, and the buy sell ratio at 0.08, as low as I've ever seen them. Uh, we're sitting on that support level. As you know, I tend to be overly optimistic, but my word, it's not a time, as I said yesterday, to be catching a falling knife. In the UK, we've got uh, the end of day picture, uh, not quite a uh, point or not quite as far into the red uh, as in the US. Just remember, we close quite a few hours before that sell off in the US yesterday afternoon. Nevertheless, short term trend is down, the longer term trend is down, and we're on a confirmed down. Uh, and the MTI getting down into those mega oversold areas as well. Uh, yesterday, I was still holding on to Anglo by the skin of my teeth. Uh, and uh, Anglo has gone, folks. I got rid of that this morning as it broke down. I think it was this morning as it broke down. And I also got rid of Lion Trust Asset Management. Uh, took me a long time to get out of them, I can tell you. But got out of them uh, above £12. £12.30, pounds, £12.30. Pounds 40 uh, uh, odd. Uh, so uh, those are the shares that I'm holding uh, and I'll be watching stop losses and all of those very carefully. The one that's come close to it is the GB group and as you can see the RT is less than one on that. Uh, I'm holding the rest of them. Um, I am optimistic that we will bounce soon, uh, but my word, there's no sign of it this afternoon. And uh, that's the Dow, as you know, I follow the Dow, and uh, that's the Dow. Uh, if I put a little bit more data on, that was the push up yesterday afternoon. And uh, uh, those of you that are technicians will see that this rising wedge uh, is invariably. Uh, a bearish so this is rising and a bearish and I'm very happy to say that I got made some money there and then I shorted the little bugger here and I took that bit I didn't do anything else I didn't hold it overnight this is drifting down now we're at that 61% uh, retracement uh, it gapped down uh, in a mega oversold situation uh, please do not be uh, tempted to catch a falling knife uh, Let's wait uh, for a turnaround. I think that short-term traders uh, who are happy with three to five day moves, there's high probability of a bounce coming. Uh, longer term traders do absolutely nothing, but watch your stop losses carefully. Uh, when in doubt, get out. We can always get back in again. I hope this helps in some way. Thank you.